territories. Territory. What's up guys, Crazed here, and today, I know it's been a while. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded a video and uh, uh, shared some thoughts with you guys, but to be honest, there has not been a whole lot to talk about. Uh, I've got some cool features coming to MCC soon, hopefully, uh, but I'll talk about that in a little bit, but uh, what I kind of really want to talk about now is, uh, has Battle Royale, Battle Royale modes or games ruined Halo? Now just hear me out, you guys may think so, may not think so, but I'm going to throw this out to you guys. This is my opinion uh, as to how I feel uh, or, or what I've seen as a trend uh, as of late. And I'm sure some of you guys, if you've been playing MCC or even Halo 5 recently, uh, you might have noticed this as well. The biggest thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people will just outright quit matches. Uh, within 10 minutes, or not even 10 minutes, <laughs> I'm talking within 10 seconds of the game starting up, uh, they quit. Or within two or three minutes, and it's pretty obvious that the other team is outmatching you. Uh, so they quit. Or uh, anything along those lines where they have to put in any type of effort, uh, they quit. And I just have to wonder is Battle Royale, and this is it, I don't completely say this is Battle Royale's fault. Uh, by any means, but I want to say the thing I've noticed about Battle Royale and other games that have been out recently is that there is like little to no effort. It's like as soon as you lose, you go right back into the matchmaking and you jump into another game. Uh, and I just have to wonder if that is carrying over to Halo. Uh, the biggest thing I think is people realize that they're going to lose uh, or they're going to have to actually put in some effort uh, because honestly Battle Royale does in my opinion does not take a whole lot of effort if you really want to play it um, and I mean I literally personally I've literally sat in one little corner and got fourth place in the match uh, doing solos um, I am watched some streams the other night and literally they were sitting in a bathroom and was like, how is this? I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. I, I get bored, and I'm just like, come on, go do something. Do something, anything. But maybe that's just me. Uh, but I have to feel that it's maybe just a little bit of society in itself. Uh, quick self-gratification. All Everything's instant. You don't have to work for anything. And Halo is kind of old school. You kind of got to work for stuff. Especially if you're playing against a team that's actually on par or even a little bit better than you. You have to work for it. And I just really feel that maybe, maybe this might be the cause that we have so many quitters these days in Halo. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just an older game. People just want to say, I don't want to play that. But anyways, there is some new features coming to Halo. and Maybe this will correct some things. I don't know, but uh, the new feature is going to be called a mixtape thing where you can just select which game you want to play, which game types you want to play, and uh, jump into that. And that might, might help with the quitter situation. I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but it'd be kind of interesting to see uh, if that is going to be the case and that quitting will slow down a little bit. But anyways, that's the videos, guys. Am, am I crazy? Am I just going out of my mind, just making this stuff up? Or maybe there might be a little bit of truth or validation to this. Share your thoughts down below. This is Craze. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.